Hello everyone. Today we're not doing anything actually. Uh, we are um the Camry. Okay. I'm doing a little recap and I'm going to be telling you about all the plans we're going to be doing in the future and everything that's been happening to the car recently. So let's get right into that. So if you don't know what happened, this is my 1996 Camry. I bought this car to customize and turn into a rally car. I did not know that this car is really hard to customize, which I should have expected that buying a family car. But I have not been disappointed since day one of buying this car. Ever since I've bought it, I've been very happy with the way it's came out and what I've done to it. And the sound that it makes and power, I've been pretty content, I guess you would say, with what comes out of it. So here's our plans, and let's start off with a recap first of what we've done so far. So what we've done so far to the car is an air intake, exhaust, and tuning chip. Doesn't sound like that much, but it's taken a long time to get to this point. Let's start off with the first upgrade we did to the car. It was first an air intake. As you can see, this is a short ram air intake with no sensors of any kind, which usually can get us more power, but at the same time, it can also be kind of power hungry. You know, as you see, we ignore the wires, but we are still hooking on the lights. But this is the first thing we upgraded, and I like the sound of it. I decided that the car was lacking a little bit in power, so we switched over to something a little bit more to get more power out of the car. What we did was a muffler delete. Technically, not a muffler delete, but it is technically more, more horsepower coming from this exhaust system with a straight through muffler. We did that and it sounds, the car sounds pretty decent now. It's not, I like it and it's got some peppiness to it, but I needed something to tune the car because I realized tuning is key to get the most power. So what we did right here was add a power tune tuning chip, which if you ever want to get one, it on. Sorry about that. <laughs> but if you ever want to get one, there are power tuning chips on Amazon. It is, I guess you could say the number one brand. I wouldn't say that people have their own preferences, but yeah, these are switch panels to the lights in the front. But ever since we did that, the car has been a lot more powerful and a lot more fun to drive, but it's not a rally car. It isn't even close to being a rally car yet. We don't even have suspension tires or anything done to it to make it a rally car. So I'm focusing on performance in the beginning to get the most power of this car before, before I bring it on the track. So the first thing we are doing, I mean, not the next, the, la the next thing we are doing on our list that we've written down is we are putting a turbo in the car. If you want to get turbos, you can actually get Celica parts to switch over to these engines. This is a five SFE engine. It's the same engine they use in the Celicas or MR2s. And you can actually get most of the parts that fit this engine. They, they're the same engine, but yeah. So the headers, you can get turbo headers from a Celica or an MR2. And you can also get the turbo stuff from the same car. So yeah, most of the upgrades you can get for that. Now coming to tuning. Now, if you want to do turbo setup, you're going to have some problems with tuning. You're going to have to get probably a standalone ECU. But if you do not want to get a standalone ECU, you're probably going to want to get a tuning chip like what I got in there. Here's the catch though. A tuning chip is not going to make your engine be able to handle 12 pounds of boost. You're not going to be rally car level when you do this. Um, so don't expect to be able to pump the boost out of this thing like crazy with a tuning chip. And I don't fully think it's a good idea to do a tuning chip. I am doing that though, probably. We're gonna see if I can get a standalone ECU, then I will, but I'm probably not gonna put any pressure on this thing until I get a full ECU setup. But I'll be running five PSI on it from the beginning. It'll be two and then five PSI, and then I'll see how much I can work out of there. Um, so the next upgrade we did other than that was the lights which they're kind of just cosmetic but if you do want to get these these were old 80s blazer lights uh they, ca they can actually buy these like auxiliary like as an attachment you can get for cars back in the 80s and i bought these for 30 bucks brand new in the packaging and i bought a switch panel and hooked them all up myself i have a video about that i i did not upload that video i mean did i well basically i added a video where i did that so the thing, we have something that is slowing us down though. We want to do all this upgrades, but something came up that was really hard to get over. Is that we have a major oil leak going on. This engine is leaking loads of oil. Not that much, but 
This is just from a couple of days of sitting here. Oil leak, oil leak, oil leak. Oil leak there. Oil leak there. I mean, basically, the driveway is messed up and nobody is happy about it because it's really hard to get off the driveway. But basically coming to that is it has an oil leak and it's going to cost some money to get done. So I'm not going to do it because I am going to do partial of it because, yeah. But it's going to be costing a lot of money basically and a lot of time. And it's going to take a while to get it all done. So it's going to hold back on our plans before we can turbo it. We're not going to be turboing it with an oil leak because I know it will probably blow the engine. Or something will happen. It will fail a lot quicker. So, so I don't know why it's leaking oil, but it is, okay? I don't know exactly where it's leaking from. I know it's from the valve cover, but it looks like it's leaking from other areas too. So uh, I don't know what caused it. it. It was like this actually when I bought it, it was leaking oil. And I, did, I thought it was something minor. But um, yeah, that's the recap on the car. And that's everything about it. Am I, this is supposed to be a rally car when I'm done with it. But uh, the thing we're gonna do other than more cosmetic things in the future is we're gonna have the TRD, TRD racing stripes going on the side. And we're gonna keep it white. And then we're gonna have, I don't know what we're gonna put. We're probably just gonna have the stripes because I don't know what we're gonna do really to the cosmetically to it. Uh, I've never really thought into cosmetic upgrades. I mostly thought about just performance. But um, yeah, I'm gonna be showing my journey on this um, and I'll see how it goes. But that's the end of this video. I'm gonna, if you do, if I miss anything, I'll add it at the end of the video or not. But yeah, if you wanna upgrade one of these cars, I do recommend it. At the same time, it's kinda like, do you, it's not really worth it. But if you do want to upgrade a car like this, you're going to need some help. And that's why I make these videos for this car. If you ever want to upgrade this car, I can, since I'm experiencing it right now, I can help you with things that I've already done. So, yeah, I guess see you guys in the next one. Hey, and I almost forgot. I told you I'd add something after this video because I always make the videos and I forget something. Um, if you want to know more information about boost and how much boost these engines can handle, the five SFE engines can handle, I'm going to tell you right now. Um... So you don't have to go through the trouble of looking all this up. I have the answers right now. A stock 5 SFE engine can handle 7 pounds of boost with a good tune. It can also handle 15 pounds of boost with bigger fuel injectors and also a good tune. So if you want to throw some pressure at this thing, it can handle it. But don't expect anything higher than 15 PSI. And it, when you're sort of 15 and up, 15, higher than 15, you're going to start having some problems. So don't try to throw anything higher than 15. It's not a supercar. It's not a sports engine. It's not a sporty engine at all. So don't expect it to be, you know, able to handle higher than 15. But it's um, it's a pretty cool engine to upgrade. And I love the sound of it. So definitely a really nice engine to turbo. But um, if it wasn't for my oil leak, I could probably turbo it. But no, my car was like, you know, I'm going to have an oil leak so right when i have big plans for it so that's a lot of money right there but don't worry we're gonna get all this over with with time this car will be finished and it'll be ready to run for the track and another thing we'll be getting rally tires before we get the live rain and everything or this this wrap before we get the wrap for the strap i mean the wrap for the for the the stripes we we're gonna have some rally tires go on this thing we're keeping the steels because i want to um and then we're probably just gonna like do some other upgrades but yeah that's it and i guess see you guys in the next one